Good day, grade 10 students. Welcome to English class. I am teacher Arnold, always ready to learn and to give you learning. Today, we will discuss about language research campaigns and advocacy. This will help you master how to write an exposition or discussion on a familiar issue to include key structural elements and language features. The scope of this module permits permits it to be used in many different learning situations. The language use recognizes the diverse vocabulary level of students and the lessons are arranged to follow the standard sequence of the course. Research is a systematic investigation and study of materials and resources in order to establish facts and, and reach new conclusions that's according to Oxford Dictionary. Through research, you can investigate an issue, then discuss findings and propose solutions or options to address the issue. You can extend your efforts through campaigns and advocacy. So there are basic in the language basics in the language of campaigns and advocacy. What are those? So we are the campaign advocacy or whatsoever so a campaign is any series of actions or events that are meant to achieve a particular particular result all campaigns despite varying purposes are created using similar structures as well as through the use of language and persuasive techniques in order to convince audiences to perform a certain actions so here are some of the many types of campaigns it includes the following civil society campaign political campaign advertising campaign so what is civil society campaign? It is a project intended to mobilize in public support in order to instigate social change. While political campaign is an organized or an, an organized effort which seeks to influence the decision making process within a specific group. An advertising campaign is a series of advertisement messages that share a single idea and, and theme. The word advocacy comes from the Latin, Latin word advocari, advocari, and literally means to call out for support. Advocacy involves promoting the interests or costs of someone or a group of people. It generally involves speaking or acting with the intention of affecting or changing specific policies, systems, or ideas. This change can occur in an array of settings, governmental, health, social, economic, and legal, among others. Advocacy is also about helping people find their voice. So here are some of the many types of advocacy to enact change include. So for example, uh, it include mass advocacy, media advocacy, health advocacy, and self-advocacy. What is mass advocacy? Mass advocacy organized and or orchestrated through large groups, that is, polls and protests. Media advocacy is using media as the primary means to promote a specific cause. Health advocacy is supporting the rights of patients and improving the community of people who care about patients. While self-advocacy, motions taken by individuals to support their own rights in the workplace, schools, and etc. So that was our... 
Advocacies can be delivered through campaigns in social media, TV commercials, YouTube, and other internet pl platforms. Just like the Project Smiles Advocacy introduced earlier campaign activities were conducted through Facebook and Instagram accounts. So that was end of our discussion about language of research, campaigns, and advocacies. Now with your pen and paper, answer the following questions. Which is defined as any series of actions or events that are meant to achieve a particular, particular result for advocacy? Is it A. Self-advocacy B. Campaign C. Language D. Persuasive Techniques If you answer letter B, campaign, then you are correct. Number two, which can be used to investigate an issue, issue then discuss findings and propose solutions or, or options to address the issue. Is it A, advocacy, B, campaign, C, research, D, call for action? If you answer letter C, research, then you are correct. Number three, what must be the purpose of the Love Yourself Advocacy based on the advocacy's fund, Advocacy Founders' statement? Eight years ago, together with a handful of friends, I started the Love Yourself. It was basically a group of friends who wanted to help out by providing free HIV testing and counseling because through one way or another, their lives were affected by HIV. That was according to Garcia Ronivan from Love Yourself Advocate. Is it A. To provide support and stop spread of HIV? B. To love and protect oneself in order to avoid HIV? C. To emphasize a negative approach towards HIV awareness? Or D. To limit the people engagement in relationships to impact HIV status? If you answer a letter A to provide support and stop the spread of HIV, then you are correct. Number four, what type of advocacy is an example above or the, 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 the statement that we have read in number three? Is it A, media advocacy, B, health advocacy, C, self-advocacy, D, mass advocacy. If you answer letter B, health advocacy, then you are correct. Number five, which type of campaign includes a project intended to mobilize public support in order to instigate social change? Is it A, civil society campaign, B, political campaign, C, advertising campaign, D, marketing campaign? Well, if you answer a letter B, political campaign, then you are correct. So that ends our topic about the language of research campaigns and advocacies. So once again, this is Teacher Arnell always saying, the world is a big classroom for you to learn. Therefore, don't stop learning because learning is everywhere. Thank you and goodbye.